to begin, every founder has a story uh, beyond the LinkedIn profile. And what is yours? Um, so I think that um, one of the main thing that was uh, important for us when we started Orca was uh, around a problem in, in security and security practice that really uh, bugged us, which was the fact that we felt that uh, as vendors, we are focused on finding problems and not enough in finding solutions. And uh, when you, you when, when we've looked at the space of cloud, we've seen companies and vendors try to migrate technology that's been there for 30 years plus and try to do the same in a completely different landscape. I remember when I was working in Microsoft during the, the pandemic, a customer called me and asked me, hi, Nick, how uh, it's going to be possible to move the my AD to run in the Azure? No, we need to have a completely different perspective, need to, to be Azure AD. And since that time, this kind of challenge happens. Exactly. And 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 when you try, when when the world changes, when things changes, you need to uh, to see what are also the opportunities for you to uh, grow, to change, to do things differently. And the perception when people were thinking about the cloud was, uh, well, the best security, if it is, I don't have anything, I cut cords. Then on-prem and the worst case is cloud. And that perception had to change because we understood that from a technology perspective, there's an opportunity to have better security in the cloud than what was even possible on-prem. And so we've explored what are the opportunities and we've, 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 we've found a unique technology called side scanning that allows you to really be able to uh, read, to scan all of your environments, to find vulnerabilities, malwares, PII, misconfiguration, any kind of risk without installing any agent. Nice. Without a need to even have an agent because having an agent was a chicken and the egg. I only knew on the problem that I was aware that could be a problem. I wasn't aware of the problems that I wasn't aware of. And that had to change. And then suddenly it gave the power to the CISO, gave the power to the security team in the sense of saying, now I know the entire landscape. Now I know all of my risk and leveraging this technology, I can prepare, I can architect, I can fix, I can remediate, and I can focus on things that matter. We cannot protect with what we cannot see. No, we yeah. need to see what's going on in our environment. Exactly. And I like this risk approach because when you talk about risk, you're talking more with the boards, with the C-level that in the end of the day have the budget and the investment. No, I think that the worst thing um, in uh, as a manager or as an executive is not to be aware of the problems you need to solve, right? In any kind of business, in anything, if you're a manager, um, if you don't know what are the challenges that you need to address, a disaster will happen because they will catch up. When you know the challenges, when you can plan for it, when you can segment, it doesn't mean that you have to do everything in day one, but at least you have the opportunity to say, I can map one, two, three, and four, and five. These are the top things I want to deal with. And then I can move to the next five. Uh, so it allows decision makers to focus on things that matter. And it also allows you to, um, to do things in a much more economic way. Because um, um, in, in broad, the cloud is not cheap. Not cheap at all. Not at all. But if you... you but if you you plan the usage of the technology, if you know where you have spent, you can re-architect, you can adjust, you can use scaling, you can find ways to even make it cheaper and more affordable than what you had on-prem. Not to mention on the gain, on the velocity of the engineering, velocity of the development of what you're doing. 